13 continues, No, my daughters, for it grieves me very much for your sakes that the hand of the Lord has gone out against me. The New King James Version, which I use for sermons, doesn't really give the correct sense here. The words are literally translated, For it is bitter to me exceedingly beyond you. The daughters had suffered bitterly at the loss of their husbands, no doubt about it. But Naomi had suffered more. She had lost her husband and her two sons. And now the suffering is expected to continue, and it would continue to be more grievous to her than to them. Whether they came with her or whether they parted, her, her uh, state and her lot really wouldn't change at all. And in fact, either way, her lot would probably get a lot worse. If they stayed, she would be separated from these two daughters that she had come to love. If they came, then she would continue to suffer knowing that they too were suffering because of their love for her. Any course of action that she could imagine would only bring heartache. And the heartache was directly from the God that she was going back to. Is this something that they were willing to accept? A God that would allow this? But she's adamant that it was because the hand of the Lord has gone out against me. Jehovah, her God, was the cause of her bitterness. Would they be willing to follow a God who allowed both joy and adversity? It was a question that Job himself answered. After all of the calamities that he endured, he faced a decision as to whether he should abandon his faith or not. Here's the account from Job chapter 2. If you know chapter 1 and 2 of Job, he went through immense trials and suffering. And here's his final answer. Then his wife said to him, Do you still hold fast to your integrity? Curse God and die. But he said to her, You speak as one of the foolish women speaks. Shall we indeed accept good from God, and shall we not accept adversity? In all of this, Job did not sin with his lips. Would one or both of these daughters act in the same vein of faith that she's acting in? 